Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Investing for the Common Man, where my number one priority is to help you save not just money, but also your time with short, concise instructional videos. It can be hard to tuck money away to invest, so today we're going to look at five ways to start saving money without reducing your quality of life. All right, first up, manage your debt. Debt can be a powerful tool or a ball and chain around your neck. Right now, I want you to pull out a pen and paper and make a list of every single item you've borrowed money on and the interest rate on each of those loans. You need to be completely honest with yourself, whether you owe money on your house, car, appliances, student loans, or credit cards, put it on the list. If you don't know all of this information off the top of your head, that's okay. Just pause this video, go look it up, and write it down. If there are any special circumstances on any of these loans, like 0% interest on the first 12 months, just make a note of it, and maybe go ahead and mark that date on your calendar while you're at it. If any of the interest rates are above 5%, don't panic, but you should focus on paying these off as soon as you can, starting with the loan with the highest interest rate. Now listen to me. If you are being charged interest on your credit card debt, I cannot stress this enough. Do whatever you have to do to pay this off as fast as you can. I'm talking drastic measures. Stop using that credit card, maybe get a second job, find a side hustle, sell some of the clutter around your house, go on a diet of water, beans, and rice, sell your plasma, or even consider asking for help. Do whatever you have to do to free yourself from credit card debt. Now, the reason I emphasize this so much is because the average credit card interest rate is around 20%. And most professional investors can't even reliably make that kind of return. And with that high of a return on their investment, the big banks see you as their most reliable and lucrative cash cow. So they'll make it as easy and convenient as possible for you to make the minimum payments and continue to collect interest from you. Now, I understand that sometimes tough financial situations arise but there are better and cheaper ways to borrow money than going into credit card debt. So be proactive and defensive so that you don't find yourself in this situation. Reducing or eliminating your debt is not only good for your emotional health, but will also make it easier to set money aside each month to save and invest. Now, some debt is better than other debt, but working your way to becoming debt-free is always a great financial goal. Moving to a slightly lighter note, Number two, quench your thirst. Beverages, be it coffee, tea, soda, or alcohol, are all high margin items at restaurants, coffee shops, and bars. You can save an enormous amount of money by buying these items at the store and drinking to your content at home. Making a cup of coffee at home costs about 18 cents versus two to four dollars at Starbucks. I sat down and did the math, and this homemade old fashioned, garnishes and all, cost me a whopping $1.64, as opposed to the $12 to $25 it would cost at a cocktail bar. And between my conscience and my palate, I can attest to the fact that I enjoyed it far more than any cocktail I've ever ordered at a bar. Now I'm not telling you never to go out and have fun with your friends, but try to minimize what you spend on drinks and maybe consider inviting your friends over to show off your mixology skills. Even if you're picking up the tab for everyone, you still might come out ahead. Number three, splurge on groceries and learn a new recipe. This one might seem counterintuitive, but like number two, you'd be surprised how much less expensive it is to splurge on quality food at the grocery store than it is to eat out. Even when you choose the fast food option, you really aren't saving that much. This delicious salmon dinner I made last night only cost me $4.49. And there's something about the pride and joy of making something with your own hands and learning a new skill that will make it all the much more enjoyable. Number four, review your monthly subscriptions. I know in the hustle and bustle of life, it can be easy to lose track of how much you are spending each month on Spotify Premium, Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, HBO, Amazon Prime, Apple Gaming, magazines, membership fees, etc., etc., etc. 
It is good to periodically look through your bank statements and make sure you are fully aware of all of your recurring payments. If you're looking to save money, you probably don't need to be subscribed to five different TV streaming services at the same time. And there's actually no penalty to canceling or pausing a subscription for a while and then restarting it. Some companies will even offer you deals when you try to cancel or pause a subscription. You should also be careful because a few services like Amazon Prime charge quarterly or yearly. Make sure that these don't fall off your radar. Cutting back on just one or two subscription services that you've forgotten about or do not need anymore can significantly add up over time. Last but not least, be patient and shop for bargains. Believe it or not, coupons still exist and businesses are always coming up with new incentives to move merchandise. If you were in the market for a big ticket item, patiently watching for a sale can save you a big chunk of change and also help shield you from buyer's remorse. Occasionally in waiting for a deal, you might decide that you don't really need the item or maybe discover something better and cheaper. If you are willing to live just one year behind the technology curve when it comes to phones or computers, you can get steep discounts from your cell phone provider or Best Buy when the next generation gadget is about to be announced. Not too long ago, I managed to pick up a brand new luxury model iPhone XS for half of its original price, just after Apple announced the iPhone 11. If you are willing to apply a couple or even all of these tips to your own life, in no time you will be able to start tucking away money each month into your investing account. If you found any of these tips helpful, do me a huge favor and subscribe and smash that like button. If you have any questions or even money saving hacks of your own, I'd love to hear them in the comments below.